What's going on, people? Welcome to United View. You know what? I'm here with Marcus Gale. <laughs> Le Brentford legend ahead of the game on Wednesday night. Um, we're here at the Brentford Community Stadium. Pro, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm not going to lie to you. I could tell by that side. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. something, you know, you, what do you want to talk about? I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous as well. No, you shouldn't look. Man, you, look, what, look at us, man. You're Man United. <laughs> You're coming to Brentford. True. This ain't normal for us. So mm. we're looking forward to hosting you guys. At the same time, we want to introduce the Brentford spirit to you guys as well. So um, I'm sure we're going to get it. A lot of teams yeah. have come here and felt it. Um, yeah, yeah. I've it's been watching night. very closely since you lot have been promoted. Been really impressed with you guys. Good. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we can expect then from a Brentford perspective. Um, mm -hmm. Your form recently, uh, you kind of mentioned before, yeah. um, you know, shipping a lot of goals at the moment. Yeah. Um, kind of bit off, been a bit derailed after a good start, but you're still competing in the games. Yeah. Um, what can we expect as a Man United fan and for the United viewers? What can we, uh, what can we expect? Oh, they're going to expect a great atmosphere. You know, we've brought the spirit of Griffin Park. Um, you know, matches under the lights are our sort of special moments. Yeah. So we're here at the new community stadium and we've got that same magical feel here mm. under the lights. It's brilliant to have Manchester United come down and you'll, ex you'll enjoy that experience. You know, the fans are right on top of you. It's a friendly club, it's a passionate club and, you know, we have to try and bounce back. We've been shipping goals in the last couple of games mm. and it's not gone down too well internally with the players, I'm sure, because mm. the, the sort of the quality of the goals should have been stopped. Yeah, the one against Liverpool as well, yeah. when the pass back and overplaying yeah, the, it. Preventable silly goals, little things, yeah. preventable yeah. goals. So inside the, the, the players will be disappointed with the way they've conceded those, but the next best thing is, you know what? We've got former Premier League and Champions League winners. Very big coming former, down. former of a bigger. <laughs> and, and this is where Brentford's come, you know, we've had two games. The, the, you know, the previous game against Liverpool, as I said, mm. Premier League and Champion, Champions League winners. Mm. And the very next game, again, former Premier League and Champions League winners. That's mm. how far Brentford have come in a short space of time. So we're enjoying the rides. We know that, you know, we've, we've got to that sort of sticky part of the season now. It's, it's, we've got tough going yeah, this is it. of games coming yeah. up. So, um, but we're enjoying it. We're learning every, every match day. We don't sort of spiritually lose. We just look at it as it's a learning curve every game. Mm. So that's what we're doing. How do you think um, Thomas Frank will approach the game tactically? I mean, would it, is it in Brentford's nature under under the lights here at the community stadium to mm. sit off Man United and wait for a time to pounce? Is it in their nature to say, like all of the things you were just saying, mm. the fans are on top, the atmosphere is there, get after them, show them yeah, what's well, it, their confidence is down. I'm, I'm sure Thomas will have the same game plan as he's had for everybody that's come down. It's to get at people. The fans will demand that as yeah, well. Yeah, I was going to um, say. Yeah, and if they don't get after him, the fans will get on and get after <laughs> you guys anyway. But look, that's what we're about. We have to compete. And um, we've been successful with, you know, getting on that front foot against the big teams that come down and um, getting some, some sort of joy out of it as well. We had a great game against Liverpool um, and it showed like what we're capable of on the day. So mm. Chelsea had a, a close run in with us as well. So Yeah, and narrowly won that. Now yeah, it narrowly won it. But yeah. that's, that's where we're at. We're enjoying it. Um, it's going to be the... I would say probably the biggest game in our history in terms of the stature of Man United coming mm. here. It's things that we, we never probably dreamt of 15, 20 years ago, but we're here now. Um, we say it in the past that but we're not here to be tourists. Mm. We, want, we want to compete. We're thriving um, instead of just looking to survive. And, and that's not out of arrogance. That's just like real. That That's what life's about. Mm. We're not here to just be around and up, exist yeah. it's what what can you do with your life every day and as a club look this is where we're at you're showing them values definitely yeah. week in week out you're competing in the premier yeah. league you're giving people difficult games um i think back to the to some of the, the bigger teams that have mm. been here i look at leicester yeah tight game could have been on the other end of that yeah. i look at the liverpool 3-3 like you said there i look at the mm. chelsea game and that tells me everything i need to know about manchester united yeah, coming yeah. In. and with my own team i know about our mentality right now yeah. you saw how we let it slip against villa um, from an individual perspective, mm -hmm. you know, players like Ivan Tony, players like yeah. Renner, who, um, you know, are the danger men? Well, they are the obvious mm. danger men. Um, started off reasonably well, 
now we're just getting into that tough part. We're finding it a little bit tough at times. Chances are few and far between, but we still create opportunities. At this level, it's about taking those half chances. Mm. In the championship, yes, you're going to get a good amount of goals, but at this level, you're up against the best of the best. You know you can catch teams cold on, on a particular afternoon or an evening, mm. hopefully Wednesday. Um, <laughs> and that's what you've got to be pre prepared for. You know, you've got to take those opportunities if they present themselves. Mm. I do see that. I've, I mean, Ivan Tony, you know, came in mm -hmm. prolific, obviously, in the championship. Yeah. Absolutely prolific. And like you said, just trying to find his feet here, trying yeah. to get going. I look at Renu, he's just so active, so quick. Yeah. You know, I definitely going to be looking to get in at our centre half. So I think for us, we've got to start building confidence somewhere. And it's mm. like, I looked at the first sort of half an hour to mm. maybe even arguably first half against Villa, yeah. which was good. We rode, we rode out the spell, get a second goal, and then the capitulations yeah. there. What have you made of, of Man United in this, <sighs> in this period now? Look, so at times, because I've played against Man United in, in yeah, the past decades exactly. and that, Definitely I don't recognise <laughs> that sort of spirit. It looks like an unhappy place at the time. So, no, I'm talking just for someone on the outside yeah, yeah. looking in. Listen, it doesn't look right. like it's a happy place. Players ain't smiling and doesn't seem to be a, a joyful spirit there at the moment, but it might be a great time to play Man United as a, as a Brentford man, mm. um, with, with you guys coming down. So um, really looking forward to it, but it's Man United, come on. We expect top quality talent to be out there. And look, they can hurt anybody. On their day, at this level, you can hurt anybody, but we're there to compete and make sure you, you don't hurt don't. us. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> That's what, that's what we're living for now. We're, we're enjoying this, this roller coaster of the season. We're sitting there with 23 points. We would like to have a, a few more internally, but yeah, we're past that halfway stage now. Now we've got to try and build and, and compete for the rest of the season. So Wednesday night is a huge game for us. It is. And um, I just, I'm looking at the confidence of us, right? And mm. it's just on the floor and I can just picture, and people got to say I'm being negative, but they know how I feel. And, mm. and I'm just going to be honest, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading Wednesday night. I am. I like that. I, I, I'm being honest. <laughs> I, I don't know if the players are dreading it. They probably feel a certain way as well. But as yeah. a fan, I'm dreading it because you're right. Every, yeah, we know if our team turn up and play to the best yeah. of their ability, they should win a lot yeah. of games, a lot of games of football. It's not just about ability though, is it? Like you said, it's not harming us right now. Well, you know we've, the saying in got... football, isn't it? Hard work beats talent when talent refuses to work hard. Exactly. And those are just the fundamental basics of any professional sports person. You have to work hard to allow that natural ability to, mm. to flourish. Um, and that's one thing we'll guarantee with the Brentford team is that they'll work hard. They'll work hard. You know, my time in the Premier League with Wimbledon, it was, it was the same. You know, he was up against better players technically, but could we outwork you? Yeah. Could we make you uncomfortable? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we beat Definitely. you? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> we used to like playing the top boys because it was a challenge yeah. and that we thrived in it. And, and Brentford is very much similar Brentford to that. Brentford players are going to see it like that. And there's a lot of them they, want to prove a point. To. A lot of them want to, want to like, continue playing at this level. They don't exactly. just want, like I said, don't just want a taste of playing against the big boys, no. go home with Ronaldo's shirt, frame it and say, oh, look at this that is, day up. This they is not a one it. season for these players here at Brentford. You know, they want to stay at this level for years to come. Mm. And the only way to do that is to, is to embrace the challenges of teams like Man United coming down here and, and going up against the best of the best. So that's, that's what it, it needs to happen. And I'm sure that will happen. I know it's going to sound like a bit of a crazy question, mm -hmm. but who are you most fearful of um, in this Manchester United side that actually isn't firing? So maybe some of your usual candidates, you might say, you know what, I'm not really worried about him right now. Or who, who, are, you, who are you looking at and saying, um, yeah, I hope he has a bad game. I think Fernandez, when he's on it and he's chirpy, He's got that, and you need a bit of ego and arrogance. You need that the right, right Definitely sort of measures. Yeah. You need it at the right measurement. Um, if he's on song, then yeah. But I feel at the moment, there's no one that's really standing out to think, we've really got to contain that, that individual. I don't think Brentford have that mentality. You have to stop a particular person. You know, we've had Salah, Salah and Mane down there, Firmino down there. It was like, <laughs> well, you can't just focus on one person yeah. because the other people that you need to focus on, they'll have more space. So I think just collectively, 
we'll just target everybody anyway <laughs> <laughs> and make sure we compete win yeah. our personal duels that's what the game's about and um we'll, we'll do that it'll be a big night for brentford and the players but we're, we're, we're ready for that they are and as you can see there when mark is saying that, it's quite telling actually because mark is saying well they're not really in great foot there's not really any one player that I look at and say, you know, and that's not a disrespectful thing, it's just to show where we're actually at. So when you think about it, we're in poor form where we're going away to other teams. Mm. A lot of you guys do say it in the, in the comments as well when we're live and say, teams don't fear Man United anymore. Um, yes, in name, like you said, it's for the, for the club. Yeah. Listening to you say, you guys couldn't have dreamed of playing us at home. Like that's yeah. really, you know, in, in terms of football and as a football mm. fan, that's fantastic to hear. But in terms of on the pitch, yeah. um, <laughs> It's 11 against 11, and like you said, it's not the Man United that you used to play against. Oh, the game's changed <laughs> somewhat, you know. As I said, and not to be disrespectful, but mm. when I used to play against United at Old, uh, Old Trafford, he was hardly ever going to get anything. You knew was you just was... on the coach on the way up, just thinking, tell you what. At times, you're thinking, it's going to be, it's gonna be a long one today. Hopefully, we don't get embarrassed today. <laughs> you know what I mean? It had that fear factor. You knew what you was up against. Um, it was near on impossible, but once you got them on your own patch the scales tipped back into your favor mm. um, and that's what we're looking for on wednesday night is that you know playing here it's going to be a sellout every seat will be gone um, it's going to be a, a very tough atmosphere mm. the united players will handle that but they've not been here before you know where city that's come down not, that's and, why i'm not and it was, it was a, not, not a tight game but we only lost one nil yeah so we're not we're not embarrassing ourselves here at all. We actually thrive in this sort of environment when, when the big boys come into town. Listen, um, thank you so much for joining us. Before we finish, mm -hmm. prediction time. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> prediction <laughs> uh, time. Where, think, where neither of us can go, uh, can I go high goals. enough. I think there's goals. You think how, it's high energy, high how goals? How the goals are going to be scored, I don't know. <laughs> but one stat I looked upon today was that United had over 100 corners and not scored. <laughs> we, I don't so even know. Like, uh, and, Hopefully and they don't score at a corner. Because out of them 100 corners as well, you ask me how many times you've even beat the first man on them corners. Well, that tells Probably me a four. lot. That tells me a lot <laughs> is that you've had over 100 corners. It tells me a lot about desire. You yeah. also put their head in there or body on the line to get, get that ball into the back of the net. So, um, but at the same time, we've been conceding. Mm. So, um, it's, a, it's a balanced game. I think there's definitely going to be goals. Both teams will score. Um, I'd love you to say it. You fancy I it. Fancy, you listen, fancy it. Just say you fancy it. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. It's, it's not the same as like when we open the season up against Arsenal here. Yeah. I think the spirit of the place coming in here that morning, oh, there was something in the air to say, you know what? We got this. We, yeah, we can taste it. We can feel it. And then the game kicked off and it was, I felt, after the game, I felt a little bit sorry for Arsenal because they mm. was up against a bit of magic that night. A complete in, in unknown the whole Yeah, they look shell shocked themselves. They yeah. got bullied from and the minute one. You know, to they end. had a few players missing, which helped. But yeah. it's not as strong as that. But I, f I feel that we, the fans are really looking forward to it. We've just come out of Anfield, three 0 loss, and the fans are okay. They're looking forward to Wednesday. They're like, yeah, we got United on Wednesday. Let's make them feel uncomfortable. Let's make them feel yeah. uncomfortable. I mean, even the fans, I'm looking here, knowing that, these, like you said, this is all going to be filled. For, I think everyone, every person in that seat will say. Mm. This, this Man United ain't that great. We can get, we can, we can get some. I feel like they'll be saying that. Yes, there, in the back there, of the there is a chance. Still Man United, there there is a chance, and I think that's what we're going to have to hope on. Uh, the players will hopefully step up to the plate and, and perform. Mm. Um, it's a great occasion to, to host Man United and all their dignitaries and stuff. But look, once the whistle blows, <laughs> let's get it on. <laughs> let's get it on. Okay, I'm go. I am. Oh, I don't want to predict to draw at best, but it just feels it's, that's how flat my mood is. Honestly, I said it before Villa. Can you see were, Brentford scoring? Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm saying I'll take that. I'm saying almost a certainty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe not certainty, but very likely. We can't. We, honestly, there'll be some form of lapse of concentration from someone from us. Something will happen. It just always seems. It, it, honestly, the drama that is Man United right now. I just. I, I, of course we can win the game. Of course we can. And if we do things properly, mm -hmm. no disrespect, we should win the game. If we, Look, if we play to the best of our ability... Technically, you've got should, superior but, players. Yeah. But it's about what I said earlier. If, hard work, if players don't work hard, the talent ain't going to exactly. come out to dominate. I haven't so. seen us blow anyone away in years. Yeah. Seriously. So um, There's yeah. a few factors that weigh in our favour uh, against United. So hopefully those will come out. I'm not going to tell you them right now. But <laughs> Wednesday night... 
after the game, okay. maybe. Listen, thanks very much for joining no us. No problem. Um, you guys smash an, uh, a like on the video, subscribe if you lot are new, and get your predictions in as well. Marcus is quietly confident. I think he's more confident than he wants to let off. He just doesn't want to be on camera. That's fine. <laughs> um, I'm not so much. You lot know how I feel about this game. Hopefully, Man United can turn up and get the win. And um, yeah, may the best team win. Hopefully, there's no controversy. Let's just make it be nah. you know, straight football. That's one thing I do. Let the hope. football speak for itself. Let the football speak for no itself. No VAR, none of that rubbish. Exactly. Just, just get the game on. <laughs> Let the players decide what's happening. We're out of it, peace.